what is all this? Uh, welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Wow. My <laughs> empty truck problem has been solved. Okay, stay. Time to lose. Should I start like looking to see what's here or should I just straight up load? Everyone loads their their lawnmowers differently. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna load and then reposition it later. Okay. Looks like just boxes. Radio flyer, yes. I saw an air conditioner. Should probably grab that next. The higher value stuff first, just in case. Okay, it's not that heavy. This was holding it. bed frame all right bed frame are you steel or no He rust. Quick check with the magnet. Oh yeah, very magnetic. Not brass. Wow, this is the lightest microwave ever. It's probably not even a microwave, it's probably a toaster oven. Yep, it is. is a fan I'm not grabbing it I'll grab the cord though all right anything else that's good okay heater kerosene thing all right so I see two cords now Where are you going? 
Oh, it's an old water bed, huh? I didn't know about that. And I'll take the cord of this fan. Yeah, it's far too much plastic. Oh, I see some old bed rails. All right, so that's next. Not a bad first stop at all. Good tools? Wait. No way, I was getting ready to leave. My good stuff. Oh! Tools. Good tools. into a bucket. <laughs> All right, I probably should do another lap. Maybe move a couple of things before I call it a day over here. in there. That's where I should put them all. Two of these. Uh, hey, boo. Home sweet home. Yeah. Do gather here. I'll make that one better. Little bit of metal. bowls. What is this? Plastic. Oh. Hey. I might have a, an idea with that. Uh, maybe not. You know, I don't want to fill up with chairs quite yet. I think this is like the longest cord in the world. Straighten up. A 
Hey, they compacted pretty nice. Yeah, good job, Scrap Snap app. Ooh, that's definitely steel. I shouldn't say definitely. I think it's steel. See an odd sized pallet, flat screen TV, and some wood. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few things there. Some almonds for the critters, probably. It is time for these kind of chairs now. Oh, that didn't quite work. Um, And tied on to um, stuck on. Ooh. Yep, just kind of stuck on, I guess. I can hear something that's a little kid. wood ha! I got totally tricked on that one that's funny yeah I think there's a cord maybe not no nope it's been clipped it's not what is this that is a charge <laughs> sewing machine on the Herb. Really? Wow. So this one is a homemaker. Yep. Huh. I've tried selling these things. I still have one for sale, actually. It's been six months. Do you think that there people go nuts for them? But it's not what I have found in my actual experience. So I'll leave this here for someone that actually would like it. That's cardboard or aluminum. It's looking like aluminum. Oh, uh, no, that's too rigid. That's, I'll bet that's steel. Mm, I don't know. It's funny, I've been doing this for four years and I still can't quite tell the difference. It's light, so yeah, I'm I'm siding slightly towards aluminum. Yeah, not sticking on that magnet.
sheet aluminum. I think that's 40 cents a pound. Yeah, it is 40 cents a pound. So you probably can't tell, but it's, it's in the evening right now. I went scrapping this morning. I didn't bring my camera. And yeah, I got some sheet aluminum, it was 40 cents. I made $109 today scrapping. Yep, that's the truth. Yeah, and there was a, another price increase for shredder scrap. Pretty crazy. This goes in the cardboard bin. This feels thicker, like it would be steel. Yep, that's steel. See, that's how it's sticking to my magnet. Fold them up chair. A rusty type. Hmm. You fit over here somewhere. I think there's another scrapper behind me. do hey what's up man maybe not Ooh. all right my little truck could go right through here no problem It's not even metal. Plastic. <laughs> the popo. They're like scabber. Is that what I think it is? Huh. Show sure enough. You are coming with me, sir. Scrap. Scrap copper. Copper and brass. Anything else? Metal. Uh, metal. Uh, looks like steel, but it's copper. Any other goodies? Any other goodness? Yes. Huh. Feel kind of heavy. Steel. Steel. Hmm. Yeah, there's some goodies in there. That's brass. Hunko steel. Did a double gainer. Hey, goodies shan't fall. 
shan't. Is that shall not? Is that the contraction for it? Mine. Ooh. All right, I just need to ignore the cooties. Big old hunk of brass. Hmm. What might this be? Sawzall blade. All burn up. Stuff keeps on falling right back onto whatever I'm trying to grab. Now these are usually brass. These, whatever they are, for the sinks. Nope. Steel. All right, last look, and then we're out of here. Another sawzall blade. Ooh. I'm out of here. What is that? That's a hunk of brass, isn't it? Oh yeah. Okay, I dropped off that aluminum at my house. That's regular steel. All right, that's brass. Sometimes can I say brass, cabbage. Hmm. That piece. And probably this. That might be zinc, I don't know. That's magnetic, but. Yeah, I think this is a type of zinc because it's heavy, but it's white. Yeah, so that's zinc, which is 25, 30 cents a pound, something like that. All right, y'all are coming up front with me. All right. Uh, scratch in the truck. Uh. Ooh, what you got in there? gonna fight with me now that 
is this on the curb? Thank you. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. Yep, yep, yep. Did I really leave it in reverse? Whoa. All right, am I tripping or was the reverse lights on for a second? Oh, I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is that like an outhouse? Seriously, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out about everything. All right, it's too late. <clears throat> I've been scrapping too long. Normally I don't like evening scrapping, but this was really nice. All right, let's do some exploring. What is this thing? Besides someone else's property. Hey, hello? 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 Uh, what are you, dude? Is there any reason for you? I don't know. All right, let's pick this up in the morning. Good morning. Red sky in the morning. Scrapper's delight. <laughs> yeah, so got a few things. Hmm. So I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah. Because I, I got a choice. Should I just use my... Take this out of my blue truck? Because it's aluminum. I mean, that's like serious. The whole thing's aluminum. Take that out of the truck and scrap with my blue truck? Or should I take this that has half a load in it uh, out scrapping this morning? Because the sun's just now coming up. Um, I don't know. I have decisions to make. Yeah. Oh, that's just beautiful. There it is. It's a bit windy out here. Hopefully it's not wrecking the audio of the video. I could just tell this chair was going to open up. These are heavier than they look. finish filling this up wait a minute is that scrap oh yeah That's a, um, I'm not positive it looks like they're getting ready to do something with that I don't know <laughs> but this is the Union Pacific dumpster let's take a quick peek hey nothing yeah I'm definitely not gonna grab that, uh, those pipes. For one, it looks like they're still um, doing something. Well, it's like part of a project. But also, it's on, right next to someone's building. That's not at the curb, that's not by a dumpster. That is on the curtilage of someone's house, right around their house. Um, the law specifically states with trash picking that stuff is outside the curtilage of a home, which is like the curb or something where it's obviously being discarded and abandoned, then um, it's, yeah, you get it. These are the cutest little cottage houses. Extra cute. Can I? Possibly, maybe, right here. Yeah. <laughs> I have a scrapper. Oh yeah, he's got a truck full of scrap. All right. <laughs> Looks like these are replacement drawers for an older cabinet. Oh, that's helium steel. Tie a string on it. Right. You need to get 
put somewhere else. There, maybe next stop. Get a little fanatical. Bad joke, Ballad Man. Bad joke. Really? How about this? Is this easier? Yes. Puppies are heading my direction. Hi, puppy. <laughs> hmm. Ryobi. Yep. Ryobi. Forty volt. <laughs> yeah, I think this is definitely um, something to take to my shop and check out. Hey, don't go too far. Got all kinds of stuff today. Ooh, they're last night and today. This is gonna fit. No problem. Hmm. I like these tools. Oh yeah. There's no 10 millimeter. My 10 millimeter's missing. And if I rain. And yep, it just might. Is that metal? I don't know what that is. It's like a, is it for oil? Yeah, it looks like there's a lot. I'm not messing with that. So I don't know what it is. But I do know this is scrap. Yeah. I think we got some rain coming. They're selling some scrap. I have a look down there. It looks kind of clear. So I think I'll be able to drive down that main aisle. Oh, that's close. <laughs> Big truck problems. I don't know if this guy wants to walk in the scale. I think he does, so I'm going to allow him to. Okay. Hopefully it's 7,000 pounds. That would be awesome if it is. Close. Not really that close. Uh, 6,860 pounds. Yep, 
they're completely redoing the concrete that's around the track. Yep. I think they replaced the whole track piece. Yeah, because they were they were building a set of tracks right next to the tracks, like on the top of the ground. So I think they just grabbed a crane and placed the whole thing uh, in place. All right, so if I was 6860, I'm gonna guess 6260 um, weighing out. Yeah, so that'd be 600 pounds. That's my guess. Let's see. No, not at all. 6360, so 500 pounds, 6340. Yeah, because it just filled up the tank. Gasoline is heavy. All right, I know a special hack for me to get OG pricing. You gotta do dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Watch. I'll get OG pricing. Sup, bro? I think 500 pounds. You still out? Yeah, the other guy actually weighed me in at 60. Uh, yeah, 6860. Or is it 6840? Really? 6860. Yeah. yeah, I thought you were gone because I'm like, after you weighed me, I'm like, huh? What was that? I don't know. It was uh. I think it was Alfredo. Alfredo sauce? <laughs> <laughs> My truck was empty. It's full back there. I thought you weren't able to get there. No. <laughs> you did look at me a little weird. You're like, uh, Paul, uh, you got this backwards. And you get paid after you drop this crap off? Not too bad. You got it, man. Did I get special OG pricing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> OG VIP. What? That's a lot of initials, bro. Uh, yeah, that's what I tell you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Wow. That's, that's what I'm see. talking about. I'll see you around. This is crazy talk. <laughs> wow. I'm going to praise you first. Praises before prices. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the energy. Um, some days, God, I don't feel it. But today, I do thank you for that. Even Thank you for when I don't feel it. Because, God, you are up to something good. The G-Man. Uh-oh, I'm in a spot here. I got to get going. All right, we'll talk about prices here in a second. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh. Yeah. So I'm at the backside of the scrapyard right now. So this is the opposite end. Yeah. We got a few piles going. Uh, there's a guy with his dog. The dog doesn't look too comfortable. He's like, I'm out of here. Got to go see you. Bye. I don't blame them. All right, so prices. Out of this world, amazingly good. I, I I can't believe it. Yeah, so 520 pounds, $78 worth of appliance shredder scrap. I gotta praise you again, God. You are good. And even when I think things aren't good, God, they are. God, let me just continue to, to look to you, not to just this however I measure things. Because God, your ways are not my ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. I need you. 